Okay. I opened this and then I didn't actually check my Snapchats. <laughs> I posted a picture on Instagram earlier and my friend just um, Snapchatted me. She's like, the picture you just posted on Instagram is my most absolute favorite picture of you ever. And I'm just like, this is why you're my best friend. Do it. Okay. I had a dress on earlier and I was really cold. So I put this on and now I'm like roasting. It's like 90 degrees in here. I don't know why I'm in a sweatshirt. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's just me today. I know my couple last couple videos have been like more collab, like more vlog type things. So this is uh, my... This is a video on getting a very natural, um, no makeup, makeup, glowy, whatever the hell this is. This is a tutorial, a makeup tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment, all that kind of stuff. If you guys would like to see how to get this look and how to make your face look natural, glowy, no makeup-y-ish kind of thing, then just keep on watching and let's just jump right into the video. So the first thing I'm actually going to start with, um, considering I already have my moisturizer on, is my primer. This is Ulta's Fabulous Face Primer. Um, this is just the normal one. I think this is like $12 because I can't afford an $18 primer. So yeah, I really like this better than the one that I was using in my everyday makeup routine. Um, this one like doesn't make my skin as like oily looking or like greasy. Um, yeah, I like it a lot better. It like actually like minimizes my pores instead of like magnifying them, which the other one did. But I didn't even realize until I got this one. So yeah, and I'm just getting, it's clear so you like can't really see, but it's like a little like pea sized drop on my finger. And then we're going in on the face and just rubbing it in with my fingers. God, prep that skin. And then I'm gonna go in with my Mari Badescu Rose Water Spray. I just got the um, cucumber and aloe one and I'm super excited about it. You know what to do, every YouTuber talks about this, so I'm just gonna go right into it. Wave that nice and dry. Oh, by the way, we're not even gonna like attempt to cover this up because I know it's not going to. Now I'm going in with my Superstay Better Skin Concealer by Maybelline in the color Ivory because I'm white. And then I am just going to apply this in like little stripes under my eyes. And then I'm just gonna put it on like a couple of my acne scars, a few little blemishes, forehead, and then around my nose because I get really red there. And then I'm gonna go on my nose too. And then we're gonna, you know, get that to go away minorly, but I know it's not going to. And then on my eyelids is like a base just to make it look a little bit less dead, you know, zombie-like because that's what I look like all the time. Now I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just blend that out. Look at how that didn't get covered up. <laughs> Hide those bags. I'm really hungry right now. Why am I so hungry? All right, now that that's done, we are just going to not bake, but we're gonna set that. This is gonna make a mess, so like I'm gonna be as gentle as I can because I know this is gonna go literally everywhere. This is some e.l.f. translucent, like loose powder. I'm just taking that on my beauty sponge and setting my most oily areas under my eyes and then around my nose. Any excess, I'm just gonna take like kind of all over my face. All right, now that I have successfully made a mess and I'm going to get out my Bella Pierre contour and highlight palette and then a big fluffy brush, which is just from e.l.f. because I'm cheap and honestly, these things are like falling apart. I need new brushes. Someone should Venmo me money to buy new brushes. I'm just gonna take this middle shade of the contour Actually, I'm gonna mix the middle and this lighter brown, just like a little bit, and then contour with it. Because obviously you don't, but this is a natural look, so we're going to enhance our features without going too overboard. I feel like every time I try to do like a natural makeup look, I always end up like doing more than I need to. Natural? What's that? What am I doing next? Oh, right. This. Now I am going to use my Tartlet in Bloom palette to do a little bit of eyeshadow. I really don't do that much. Um, I would not do that much eyeshadow, especially if you're going for a more natural look. I am just going to kind of like define my crease so I look a little bit older because I feel like I look like 12 half the time. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Charmer, which is the white shade, and then I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. 
With that same brush, I'm going in with Flower Child, which is the one right below Charmer. It's a little bit more of a nude instead of like a just plain white. And I'm going to put that on my lower lid and then kind of blend it up into the brow bone. This acts as more of like a natural base instead of just like plain white. Now with another a little bit more, like more dense um, fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with Jet Setter, which is the more cool toned brown shade. I'm just going to get a little bit of that and then I'm going to watch it in my crease and then blend it into my crease. Next, I am going to do my brows. So I'm actually think I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. I am using Ulta Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in dark brown. I got a new brow pencil that actually matches my eyebrow shade, so I'm pretty excited. Okay, as you can see, I'm just using this spoolie end to brush out my brows, first of all. And then I am going to use the actual pencil end. So I am going to do a line underneath, following, fill in the tails a little bit. And then I'm going to, like, very gently flick some upwards in the front. Just so I look like I have a little bit more definition, I guess. Why do I look so white right now? I feel like this is really washing me out and it makes me sad. Same thing to the other side. Now we're done with brows. I am going to really quickly do my blush and my highlight. I'm really not going to use that much blush. Okay, we're just, we're going to zoom out. Hold on. So this is something that I got in an Ulta like little sampler kit, I guess. Um, the blush is nude pink and the highlight is flush. Fresh Glow, they came like together and I'm barely gonna do anything. This is like a um, slanted or angled blush brush. I'm literally gonna do like tap into the blush and then apply it just under my cheekbone. So like I'm gonna smile and it's gonna go like right here. Now I'm gonna go in with my highlight. I'm going to use, I don't know what kind of brush this is. Honestly, it's just kind of like a, it's a fluffy one. Ooh, damn, that was all. Oh, I need to clean my brushes. So I am going to go into the highlight and just like swish it back and forth. And this stuff is like so, so shiny, like so shimmery. It's ridiculous. Out of here, my leg is literally asleep right now. Now I'm going to put some chapstick on. Just because this is natural, I don't really want to use an actual lipstick. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is go in with mascara. We are going to go in, this is a little sample tube of Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. We're gonna put that on our upper lashes. We're going on the upper lashes only with this one. Now we're going to go in with CoverGirl's Clump Crusher. Because I really don't like this mascara, honestly. I just kind of use it for separation. And um, to do my bottom lashes because this, it just like, I feel like there's not much that comes off of the wand. Over my upper lashes just to make sure they separate and they look really natural and not clumpy, obviously. And then I'm going to go in on the bottom. All right. Um, yeah, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry if the quality kind of sucks. Right in front of my window, I am discovering is not the best place to film because I look really washed out right now. But yeah, I really hope you guys could tell what I was doing. Please let me know if you tried it and if it worked well for you. Drop a like, subscribe if you like seeing my face. I promise I'm not usually this boring and I promise my videos actually aren't this bad. I'm really sad that you like can't actually see what I did. I'll leave all of my social media links down in the description box below. Please don't be afraid to go follow me there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I love you guys and I will see you all soon.